वेलकम बैक कोडर्स दिस इज सूरज केल्ले इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट बेसिक यूसेज ऑफ गोलाइंग इमेज पैकेज यर वी विल क्रिएट अ सिक्वेंस ऑफ इमेजेस एंड देन कंबाइन एंड इनकोड देम इन टू अ जीफ एनिमेशन दिस इमेजेस आर कॉल्ड लिसेजेस फिगर्स विच वेर यूज इन द साई फाई फिल्म ऑफ नाइनटीन सिक्सटीज दिस आर बेसिकली पैरामेट्रिक कर्व्स ऑफ हार्मोनिक ऑसोलेशन इन द टू डायमेंशंस लाइक साइन वेव्स ओके सो in this video you will learn about uh, the constant composite literals and struct data types okay so let's start our program we will declare our package main after after that uh, we need to import some external packages first one is image image slash color for coloring gif for uh, encoding io for input output okay math for ma math uh, rand for uh, creating a random number OS for uh, OS functionalities. Then now we are creating a palette. See, we need to create an image. Okay, sequence of images. So for each image, uh, there needs to some uh, coloring. Okay, so here we are creating a palette. So which has three colors: white, col, uh, uh, black, and uh, this third one is the orange color. Okay, now uh, we are creating constant. These are see, uh, these are package levels uh, uh, data types. Okay, package level variables and package level constant. What are constant? Constant are data types which uh, whose values don't change during compilation or in the whole uh, life cycle of program. Now uh, in the uh, constant we are declaring white, uh, black, and orange index, which are basically referring to this uh, palette colors. Okay. in just a moment you will see that how this indexes will be used to color our image okay now in the function main we are declaring a function and after that means we are calling a function lisa just and here now we are declaring it so yeah we are accepting as a first input out which is io dot writer type now we are declaring a constant in our functions which will remain constant during the whole life cycle of function okay number of complete x oscillator revolution cycles resolution size okay uh, number of frames uh, and what is delay okay each delay is uh, means 80 milliseconds okay so here now we are uh, uh, what we are uh, doing that we are using frequency so uh, as they are these are sinusoidal waves okay so uh, here uh, there will be two, two waves x and y the second wave for that uh, we will be using this frequency now anim okay so as you can see that uh, what we are uh, doing that now we will be declaring anim which is gif dot uh, gif here you have no, have you noticed that uh, here while importing this uh, two packages color and gif has multiple path but while in this program uh, right here in color we are referring to this last literal okay last word of this whole uh, path and in gif here uh, we are referring to this last uh, word okay gif so here color dot color is basically a slice which is composite literal okay and gif dot uh, gif is a struct data type it means anim will be of struct data type you got it guys so here in the struct data type we are basically uh, say uh, assigning loop count as n frames n frames uh, means in this animation there will be 64 uh, frames uh, means we need to create 64 images and then combine them into an animation which okay which you will see just in a moment so keep watching now uh, there is a phase okay phase is as 0.0 it's an initial value so now what we are uh, doing that we are static 
we start to create our images there will be two loops first one is outer loop and second one is inner loop now we are declaring outer loops okay outer loop uh, will be run for, for 64 times which is the frame counts 64 images we need okay frames now in the okay so in the output loop outer loop first we are creating an image okay image dot rectangle 0 0 2 into size plus 1 means 200 1 okay because size is 100 so this rectangular image will be created now we are assigning a palette image okay so a rectangle rect comma palette okay now this palette will be assigned and by default the first value will be assigned to each p uh, pixel of this uh, image okay which is the white I mean, the whole background will be the white now we are creating inner loop so what we are doing that first uh, we need to assign first we are creating a short uh, a variable t t is less than cycles into 2 into math dot pi t plus equal to resolution which is 0, 0 0.001 okay now uh, we are declaring an x oscillation and y oscillation x oscillation is normal sin sinusoidal wave and of t okay and y oscillation is relative okay to t t into frequency plus phase okay initially phase will be zero but after that phase will start increasing now what here we are doing that we are setting the color index okay just look at this guy okay here uh, we are referring to the point where we need to color it okay in this whole image and we are you uh, are setting it to black index in means uh, background is white and the front image uh, means okay curve will be of black color if we ask put it orange index then it will be in orange color you will see it in just a moment okay now phase has been increased after each inner loop iteration okay now anim dot delay append so as you can see that uh, anim is a struct okay it has uh, of gif okay uh, gif dot gif it is a stru struct of this data type now what we are uh, doing that we are appending the delay okay in the struct and also we are appending the frames so this struct will need 64 different frames to create a gif image animation so we are appending delay as well as image okay delay will say that uh, uh, when this this frame should be displayed and image will uh, be means normal frame now at the end after everything done we have 64 frames now let's encode them all so we are encoding all into out uh, which is okay out which is of io dot writer type which uh, st sends it to the uh, standard output and add anim which is our struct okay so you know, we are in, uh, ignoring encoding errors so now let's run our program now let's run our go package okay first we will now you use go run lisa just dot go so if you normally run uh, here you can see that there is a random output but we don't need that so that's why so it's basically the gif sequence so what we do uh, out result dot gif we will be outputting it to the result dot gif okay now as you can see that uh, result dot gif file has been created okay okay now we can see the output okay now here you can see that uh, this is the output at the back uh, there is a white and at the front there are uh, the black uh, lines okay this are, is the lisa just curve now let's um, uh, make some modification to our program so what uh, we can do that we can 
just change a uh, black to orange index okay save it after that just run it go run as you can see that uh, color uh, gets updated i hope that you have learned something new in this video to watch more such video uh, subscribe to our channel one minute notes thank you